Um, now, James, support for Labor has fallen in Victoria and Western Australia, according to today's news poll in The Australian. It shows that male and younger voters nationally are also turning away from the ALP. Although Labor does still lead the coalition in two-party preferred support, the margin has narrowed, though, 54 to 46 compared to six months ago, it was 58 to 42. What do you make of these news poll results today? Yeah, well, a couple of more interesting things, too, in that. Number one, the fact that Labor is really on the nose with the Greens in a lot of areas. And so this we see a real pincer movement forming. And you've got the Liberals on one side and the Greens on the other. The Greens, and again, this kind of goes back to your previous question, too. Um, the Greens in inner city areas are really, really giving them a run for their money. And I think they're very concerned about that. That's what's sort of dragging them to the left. The other interesting thing to me is that bit you mentioned about younger people and men sliding away from labor. To me, this is mimicking the same shift away from the Yes campaign that we saw during the referendum. And I wouldn't be surprised if you start to see other demographics start to fall in that direction as well. James, just finally, today we saw the transcript from that police body cam footage released. If just to, to remind everyone, this is about Claire Noland. She was the frail 95-year-old who was suffering from dementia. She was in a, a nursing home when police tasered her and she died. The transcript from that body cam footage today released. One of the officers involved, Senior Constable Christian White, reportedly said, we're not playing this game, Claire. You're going to put that down. Just remember, this is a 95-year-old weighing 45 kilograms that he was speaking to. She was holding a knife. He said, this is your first warning. You see this? This is a taser. Drop it now. Stop now. Don't think I'm going to give you another warning. I mean, she had dementia. Mm. Less than a minute later, James, less than a minute later, it's alleged that White then says, nah, bugger it, bugger it. And then he fires the taser less than two metres away at Claire, she then fell from her walker, hit her head, and she died. James, understandably, the family is suing the state for negligence. Yeah, look, and you can see why. I mean, it sounds just on the face of it pretty shocking right there. It's quite interesting, of course, you contrast the behavior of the police there when dealing with a 45-kilogram, 95-year-old dementia patient and the way they dealt with protesters at the Opera House the mm. other night. Um, one common thread, of course, in both those stories is Police Minister Yasmin Catley, who mishandled the Claire Nolan story terribly, I think has also performed terribly during these protests we've had in Sydney. Um, I really am surprised that Chris Min Minns hasn't given her uh, her marching orders yet. Yeah, look, there's been a lot of scandals piling up against Yasmin Catley, the police minister in New South Wales, so you think that she won't be... How long could she hang on in the job? James Murray, thank you so much.